resin mat down here. Um, so I have resin to show you. I will show you what I've received, but so here we go. Now this is the Elves subscription box. Okay. Um, and I'm about to open it up. So I'll come back to you when it's out of the packaging. So it's out of the packaging and it is it is a pretty, pretty blue. Isn't it funny how two different cameras, two different colours, but this cat, whoops, the main camera, the one where you can see this hand, <laughs> is close to the proper colour. So, uh, there we go. So, this is the Premium L's box. I know what's in here. Well, I know some of what's in here. And I'm so excited, so excited. Now, one of these jobs, I, one of these things is going to be two-part resin, and it is so. Therefore, it's going to take quite a while to do. So it will be done in stages. Oh, and everything is blue. Okay, so the else box tells me to share with everybody. And here it is. Um, oh, it's actually a booklet instead of a card. I've got a, a coupon code there, but I'm not sharing it with you. Hashtag your creations with the hashtag the L's box at Instagram for a chance to win a premium L's box. Cool. Now this is LED resin craft. So in here is light. Woohoohoo, okay. Um, oh, it's actually five. No, no, no. Yeah, yet again, there is a. Okay, let's get this in the right spot. The Elves Box community, so they are there. And. Oh, come on, camera. Yeah, it's got the referral key there, so. Um, well, not the referral key, but how to refer uh, to get the link. Okay, so that's August. There was an August creative context. Premium box add-ons. <laughs> Sorry, getting excited. And then the regular box. And then there's actually, how cool is that? There is actually instructions that tell you how to do this. And yes, there is curing times. Um, wait, six to 12 hours to cure, then demold. Yeah, so they actually have instructions how to do this because what's in here is significant, really significant. So, but there's not that much in there by the look of it. But then what's in there is absolutely awesome okay we will start with what's in the premium box let's see if i can get what's in the premium box so the premium box has okay so i'm going to bring it up to this camera here it has um embellishments that i can put on the mirror which is so that's that side of it so the embellishments there is okay glitter dreamy blue holographic flakes this camera just focuses so much better okay i have one light so this is yep paddle pop sticks got those i have another light so there's two lights one is actually for i'll move this over now one is for the castle and one is for the premium box that's for the castle premium box 
I'm just going to divide these into what they are for. Now there is, yes, a mirror. Oh, <laughs> I'll show it that way. That goes inside the snowflake. Okay, so which is premium part of the premium pack? Mm. Whoa! That I wasn't expecting. Okay. Then we have one of the moulds. Um, where's the scissors? And you can't really see much of this mould. But this is the 3D castle silicon mould. Oh gosh, that feels funny. <laughs> it's all squishy. Okay. They have put a foam core in there to protect it. But you actually pour your resin into there. Okay, so that's the castle. What I do have highlight, Sophie and Toffee resin. Now, I do like their resin. This is their two-part epoxy resin, and I really do like their epoxy resin. Um, I've used this a few times now for pouring some stuff. Uh, obviously for smaller stuff, but part A and part B. <laughs> See, look at that. That camera is just so much better for viewing that stuff. Part A and part B, which is part of the standard box. I actually have a third light. So there is one that is blue LED light. And one is colourful LED lights. And I can't tell the difference between any of them. Okay. I'll go through that later. Um, in the regular box, you get the silicon mixing cup. So that's for your mixing your resin. And I will say there, where are we going? Their measurements guide is so hard to read. I struggle to read that. Um, you can see it a bit better on the inside, but I still, it's still a struggle. Um, when you mix resin, it's a part, it's a ratio of one to one. So um, yeah, that's hard to see when you're moving that one. And then. We have this mold, and I'll open this one up. Okay. So this is the <laughs> mirror. So what happens is you put that in there, the mirror in there, um, and you put. If you can see the little handles, there we go. They go on the back side and the front side of of it and you can put uh, frozen just chillin snow queen merry christmas or you can put some of the other embellishments on there so which will come in really cool will be really cool so that's funnily enough that's it for the box it's a very nice box so what i want to do that's What's that? <laughs> okay. The in the standard box is those, and then in the premium box, wow, um, you get these items. What I do want to do is I don't understand why I got two because it only says one. Now the blue LED light is twenty-five centimeters. Where the colourful LED lights is 60 centimetres. So just bear with me while I open these up. So that I can have a look. But maybe I got a bonus extra. But you can definitely see the difference in the amount of. Ooh, there's a colourful. Um, oh gosh. I don't know if you can. Actually, if I do.
it's just not doing it. Not, you can't see the colourful. It's just too much. Oh, you can see actually a bit of reflection here. But that's the colourful. And what does, um, this ends up being wrapped around there. So I have one colourful. I'm thinking this is the blue. Yes, definitely a blue and you can see the blue with one, two, three, four, five lights on it. And look, that battery looks like it's. Oh, so I've got two blue lights. Okay, so I can make two castles. Now, this is not something that I'm going to be able to do straight away on camera for you guys. But what I will, let's see if I can find the end. I will take the mirror out of the container. Okay. Uh, come on, there we go. And unwrap that one. Okay. Um, so what happens is, oh gosh, you put one layer of resin in and then you place your wire as per how you want it. Um, this is probably a bit long. No, no, you might be right. Hang on. I know they actually show you where the wire comes. Um, there we go. Come on. Round you go. <laughs> This is just not staying there for me. Okay. And take that out. This will give you an idea of what it looks like uh, when I do this, which I actually might get to and do. I might get to and do this too, or do this now, but I can start the pour at least and then show you. Uh, yep. Got to get that on right. There we go. So what happens? You can just see the different colours, but you end up with a mirror with um, lights on it. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so there we go. You can actually see the different colours there. Hello camera. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's what that does. Um, what I might do is, because this is not requiring the UV light, and it is a simple uh, mix, although I might put a tint in. No, I won't. What I will do is I'll do a simple mix with this in there as the background um, first. Lay some of these down in there. So hold on a sec while I get my stuff together and I won't be long. So I'm semi set up. I say semi, semi set up. Um, I've grabbed, still I'm not, well I did grab my mats to go underneath but because it's not small resin work I don't need them. And I'll work directly on top of this mat. Uh, I'm pretty confident using uh, two-part epoxy resin now, so I'm not too concerned about it. What I have done is I've cut the cut this out of the embellishments. I'll pop that aside. I did. I have previously purchased some other soap in toffee boxes and I have love hearts oops 
There's Playboy bunnies. Hang on, I grabbed the wrong one. Can't do Playboy bunnies on this. Okay. Um, <laughs> I thought I had two lots of hearts, but then I've realised that um, these ones here are actually not hearts. They are a beady type thing, so they're not really hearts. But I'm still not going to do Playboy bunnies. I will put in here um, a few different goodies from this kit. Um, but yeah, hang on. I've got fluff in there. Shouldn't I, I cut the thingy out? For the, I cut that out on top. Um, what I did do is so I received this um, 100 grams of each of those, so 200 grams. I already had a 150, so I already have 300 grams um, of the crystal epoxy resin. So I'm going to use that instead of um, opening up a new bottle. And I'm just grabbing out the baby wipes because I've just discovered I've not wiped that one down properly. Okay in the bin down there um, so I went through the instructions I've had to read the instructions so Sophie and Toffee are not the their resin is not by um, measure isn't by measurement isn't by mills or anything like that. it's by grams so it's by weights so I've got my little scales out and what I need to do is mix 10 grams of each and mix well until the solution is clear so, put the scales on. Okay, I don't know what went on with my little scales, so I've got my next scales up, and I have 10 grams. So I'm gonna tear that off. 10 grams of part V, and now 10 grams of part A. That was a little bit of mucking around. It's amazing what happens when your scales don't work, and yep. I was not impressed with that. Okay. I could probably pour this in, but now that I've got to this point, there's no point pouring it in because I only need two more grams. Nine. And with epoxy resin, you've got to really watch and get your mixes right. And 10. Oh, 10.03. But that is what I need for the first layer. Let's turn these scales off and pop them out of the way. And now the instruction says mix well till the solution is all clear. Generally, hey Google, set timer two minutes. With minutes <coughs> starting now with um you uh, you uh, with two part epoxy resin that i've used from another company and not one of the little companies like this this is the the art resin that i use for bigger work um that is a minimum of three minutes mixing so um, this is saying until clear this is actually clear, but I just want to make sure this is really mixed. Okay, come on, mix up. I'm only a minute in and this is already clear. It's, yes, there is bubbles, but it is clear. Oh, it's only been a minute, but I think that's actually okay. If I was using, if this was in one of my silicon mixing cups, I would have, would be hitting that with a torch to get rid of some bubbles while I can. As far, okay, Google, stop timer. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, consider it cancelled. Oh, shush, bye. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I actually class that as mixed and clear. The instructions say pour, pour the first layer with clear resin into the mould. And resin is self-leveling. Uh, because it's being poured into mould, um, I haven't leveled this like I do other um, other works purely because this is going into a mould. Um, this mould will hold it into its appropriate shape. And there we go. I'll write that down. I like this little mixing stick. Sorry, guys, just not what, doing stuff out of. If you actually watch this corner here, you will see a bit more about what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so that's done. That's actually for the trash, because um, that's a really that's a disposable cup. Okay, so I'm actually going to pop these bubbles very quickly, mm -hmm. and also use this to make sure the resin is all the way through to the corners of everything it helps me get rid of any other extra bubbles so the bit that we're doing here with the clear resin is actually the front of the facing of um, this mirror and yep just making sure it's into all the crevices any air bubbles that are in there are uh, come out okay um I did have another flame curl, but I do prefer this one. <laughs> Hang on, this one's gentler. This one's so gentle, it's ridiculous. Hang on. No. Okay. So now what I've got is, it says, Pour the first layer of clear resin into the mould, cut and place desired holographic film designs and glitters into the resin.
decided to speed that a little bit up. I was um, mucking around too much and yeah, stopped talking and concentrating and thought, well, just get it done. Okay. You can't see this. Although you can see some of the spots that I've put in there. Uh, but I have simply done some stars, um, some goldy, purpley things, and then um, the Easter's. I will uh, put a little picture somewhere in here of what this looks like in its um, simplest form. But it's now half twelve, so not until half six. About from about half, after half past six, I will be able to do a little bit more to this. Um, there's three more pours to do with this, but yeah, in half, in about six hours, I can come back and do a little bit more. So I'll see you in about six hours. Stage two. Stage one is complete. Um, I put this about oh, not six hours ago, but it does say to wait six to twelve hours. I working. I've worked with UV resin, and um, this is soft to touch. I'm actually quite happy to work with that. Uh, what did I do? Yeah, I suppose it's about five hours ago that I did this. So I'm going to zoom this up for you to have a look at what I've done. So what I've got is that base piece, uh, okay, and then I put in blue and purple stars and where are they? They have moved. Um, there is also some beads in there, in here and here, and you're only seeing the back side of them because the front is going to be on the other side. The next instructions for this one is to mix part mix 10 grams of A and B to get 20 grams, add pigment dyes of previous box, add pigment dyes from previous box, mix well and pour it into the mold. So in the previous box we had the yellow, we had the red and we had the blue pigment dyes. So what I'm going to do is put the blue and the red together and hopefully get a purple. Is that the way it works? If not, I'm going to have an interesting colour. If you can see that color but it's almost a, a grapey color hang on let's see if I can get this camera get this to the right camera okay you can just see the grapey color so that's going to be very clear a light purpley color and it is just simply pouring this into the mold actually not much resin going in there. It is the back resin, the next part of resin which will be um, more. Uh, what are we putting in? So that was just, I've just put in there is, uh, what is it, 20 grams. Next one will actually have 60 grams worth of resin in it. So. That will fill this up. I'm just trying to spread that around. Now I know it's, you know what? 
I know it says to put it in the next layer but I'm just wondering whether I put it in this layer I'm just going to roll this around whoops, don't do that don't go over the side because I want the resin all over everything and that's just giving it a light shade of purple you can actually see that yeah so that's a very, very, very light shade of purple. If I, have my, if, I, if I wasn't doing it as per what they actually say, I would probably be wanting to add more resin. I'm just going to pop the bubbles. And I will say, be quick when you pop bubbles because the heat from these guns, the flames from these guns, can actually uh, degrade your mold but there we go so that's step two I'll lift this up plain as you can see so there we go step two the next one is filling the back and putting the lights in where's my phone I'll take a picture of this one Turn the flash on. So hang around for um, step three. The resin has set on the second layer, which is the um, coloured layer. Very light colouring. Uh, the next steps now is to put the light in. So the read from the instructions so wait for 6 to 12 hours to cure mix 30 grams of A and B together 60 grams place LED lights around the snowflake pour resin into the mold wait 6 to 12 hours to cure and then demold the wand now I don't want to pour the resin into this and have this into the mold and have this popping up so my solution is to actually do use UV resin to cure it in place um, because if I can get one position right and I can position a couple more and get them secured so they're sitting where I want And then I've got them where I want them so like I can get them to stay in there whereas once I start mucking around with it there it just bounces all over the place so I've got the soaking top of UV resin clear and I'll start putting those into place
wipes are now, I've put them in the UV resin. These are now sealed in place. If I turn it over, I've actually managed to get it so it looks pretty even. Okay. So the next steps is one, turn that off. Two is that I need to 30 grams of A and 30 grams of B to get 60 grams. Okay, let's go with the 30 grams of A of a B. I think I might speed this bit up for you guys. What I do want to do is um, they actually say just not to colour it just to pour it clear but I'm actually going to add glitter so a fair chunk of it and some flakes don't ask me where I got those from it's in one of my unboxings Ah, this was from Amazon. Both of those were from Amazon. So just give this a bit of a, a mix through. What do you think? Pretty? Do you like that? Okay. So it's now just the simple process of pouring the resin in. Four hours later and here we go this has uh, the wand has now set the I add did whoops I stayed down there did add some um, flakes in in that last section that I mixed in but they have actually some of them have floated to the top uh, but yeah so now it's time to demold I might do is just turn that light on it's how bright that uh, trying to get it so you can see you might be able to see it yeah okay so time to demold which is really easy very easy just gonna pull this the sides away from it come on there we go just loosen the sides first yep okay rightio so and then we take that out 
What do you think? That's quite pretty. Uh, watch out for the bright light. That's cool. That's really cool. Alright, so what I do have is now to insert into there the mirror. So the mirror has the sticky backing, but it also has a protective sheet on top of it. I'm just going to remove the sticky backing first. in there so that's the mirror in I'm just going to pick up that plastic coating All right, so I don't know if you can tell the difference but the plastic coating oh, you can on this camera here this one here you can see the difference but there we go. I do have to just give it a little bit of a light sanding if we look um, here. You can just, oops, there we go. You just see some little flakes that are, they'll come off nice and easy. Just going to turn some lights off uh, in a sec. Okay, let's have a look. Hey Google, turn off office light. How cool is that? Hey Google, turn off kitchen light. Okay, turning the, the kitchen light off. <laughs> Rightio, so there we go. What do you think? That's beautiful. I like that, really do like that. All sparkly. Hey Google, turn on office light. Whoops. Uh, hey Google, turn on kitchen light. Sure, okay. turning the, the kitchen light on. So you can see, you can see the wires. You can see those flakes in there. You can see the lights. One of the things that I did was the... Um, that plastic sheet where it, I had put on the handle so that's come through quite nicely where you've got the star I just turned off so now you can actually see there we go turn that around that's quite pretty so guys what do you think uh, these are so this one and the castle which you'll see that one shortly um, are on whoops <laughs> I'll just change that angle shall I they um I think they'll be available on the Sophie and Toffee website now however if it's not now it'll be at the end of the month once all the boxes have been although I do believe all those boxes for note for this package have been sent um this obviously it, with the subscription box so I'll put a couple of links down below I'll turn that over couple of links down below one is to get a discount from Sophie and Toffee 15% um, discount and from that I do actually get some a little bit of money I think from it um, so just so you know I do I do have an affiliation with a Sophie and Toffee um, if you're interested in the elves boxes there is also a link where you get three dollars off your first elf box and for every three people that sign up for this subscription box i actually get um towards a, a free box um to be sent to me so um if you guys are doing any of that uh, interested in any of that just know that i do get a little bit from it not that much but a little bit um what else the next box is what they call the December blowout box I do but yeah the December blowout box now that's where if you order it anywhere up to from now up until 
uh, they ship, I believe, or the 1st of December, they will be shipped, but there's no guarantees it will be arrived before Christmas. That's why this was more a Christmas box than um, the December box. The December box is a blowout box with a lot of new product that they don't have on their website. But guys, uh, let me know what you think. I reckon this is so cool. This is so cool. Um, I know I can buy that mirror. I, I know I can buy that mirror on their website now. So I, I reckon we can probably buy that as well. Um, if we can, I'll try and remember to put the links down below. Uh, so that then if you are interested in just buying this by itself, this being a two-part epoxy resin did not need to be cured under UV. It just needed time to be left to cure. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit the, um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed for those guys uh, that have subscribed. Thank you very much for subscribing. Ooh, whoop, whoop. There we go. You can see me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> made my finger around. Um, yes, yeah, so for those of you that are subscribers, thank you. I um, hope you're enjoying my channel. And um, hit the bell if you haven't already so you get notified of uh, more uploads. I will say I have a lot of videos that I've done that I'm in the process of editing and um, there'll be a few quite a few resin ones coming out now um, just because I've had a couple of days of working on resin. So thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.